Hi guys, was this 2013 G4 Q Packintosh worth the effort? Let's find out. It's now running Mac OS Sierra 10.12.5. I still use it as my main system. For example, I do all my YouTube video editing in iMovie 10.1.6. I also use it for Arduino programming. For example for my micro RC remote control system. The added USB ports on the top side are very handy to connect the Arduino. For time machine backups I'm using USB 3 hard drives. The Apple remote also works fine, because I have added an internal Apple infrared sensor. The music plays on Apple Pro speakers, which were converted to USB. And of course the toaster effect is a must have in a G4 cube. So let's insert the music CD. Will it play the music? At least we have an audio CD symbol on the desktop now. Yes, works fine. I think the toast is now finished. And by the way, a message also works. All the cables on the bottom side are not very convenient. First we have to disconnect all of them. Now we have a look at the bottom side, which is still almost in stock condition. Now have a look at this ingenious locking mechanism. Now we are in. Not one single screw. Just ingenious. Two additional USB 2 ports are wired to the motherboard. They are mounted inside the former graphics card slot. For the I.O. shield I have milled the slot. Here we have the wireless antenna. We also have two pairs of USB 3 sockets. There is also an HDMI socket, a pair of Gigabit LAN, a display port and the power socket. A reset button, a power button and the audio ports. The touch button was replaced with one from Edison. 
We also have a hard drive LED, a power LED and two top USB 2 sockets. On this side we have the serial ATA cables and the hard drive power cable. Two SSDs are mounted inside the original hard drive cage. The original heatsink is still in use and connects to the CPU with this copper block. The main board is held in place by M3 threaded rods. This is the Bluetooth antenna. And finally we have a wireless module inside here. A fan is mounted to the original bracket. Under normal conditions the system is almost noiseless. The fan only spins up under heavy load. That's it. Let's put it back together. And yes, I think it was worth the effort. Who else has a 16 years old computer which is still in perfectly usable condition? Those are the current specifications. For more details have a look at the links in the description and on the top of this video. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. Bye!